Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a Who Review. I am Davros, and I am a Whovian, and today I am reviewing Doctor Who Father's Day. So this is a Series 1 episode from 2005, um, and uh, basically uh, Rose, you know, in this story Rose, she didn't know, you know, I mean she never knew her father because he died when she was a baby, and she wants the Doctor to take her back um, in time to see him, not to approach him or anything, but just to see him as he is, and that. And um, the doctor agrees to this, but then she can't resist and then saves him, which has dire consequences, as the doctor explains. Next thing, the TARDIS is gone, and there's a tear in the fabric of time, and these dragon like creatures called Reapers come out of nowhere to sterilize the wound in time. So, let's uh, get on to my likes and dislikes about this episode. So first of all, uh, you know, as usual, Christopher Eccleston was great as the Doctor, I don't need to keep telling you all that. He did a great performance in that. Um, I also liked Billy Piper as well, she was okay in it and that and stuff, she did a great performance. Um, I also liked our supports we got in this, including Camille Kajuri as, as Jackie Tyler an 80s Jackie Tyler and then we had Sean, what, I can't remember his name now but he was Pete Tyler, Rose's father and that and basically when these Reapers come they can't get into the church so yeah they hide away in the church till they work something out so yeah um, so let's, uh, what else did I like about this and didn't I like uh, I like the Reapers, they look quite scary and sinister and that, I'm thinking, are they something to do with the Grim Reaper? Are they like the Grim Reaper's dragons or something? Because their tails did look like scythes, you know, it's a scythe that the Grim Reaper has. Um, and that, yeah, um, yeah, I like the scenery, the setting and that, it was a good episode, well, a good, sort of good episode. We'll get to that now in the dislikes. So first of all, my dislikes. Uh, I didn't like Rose in this. I mean, Billy Piper, I don't blame her for this at all. But in this, I, I didn't like Rose as much how she was being a bit selfish. How she wanted to, how she thought now that they're back in time, she can stop it. And that. Um, and that. At first, I didn't like her attitude towards the Doctor. But she soon, like made amends with him and you know then they decided to make things right um, she changed the past a little bit you know Pete still got killed and but this time Rose managed to go up to him and look down at him and say goodbye and also Pete knew about that as well that she was his baby daughter Rose grown up um, and that I don't like the the dumb decision that she made when the doctor specifically told her to not touch the baby because they're the same person and with them already in a dilemma where the you know fabric of time is torn um you know they have to be careful and that uh, but I don't like how she just took her baby self and then caused one of the reapers to get in and then the doctor had to sacrifice himself and also in that, the Doctor had managed to, you know, fix what was going on because the TARDIS key was glowing and, you know, the Doctor could bring the TARDIS back and everything that Rose changed would stay changed. If she did that, she could have got away with it, but no. Yeah. So I didn't like that there were a dumb decision made. Um, I liked the episode around the start, but during the middle act of this episode, it was a little bit boring where they were all in the church arguing and deciding what to do and not knowing what to do and that because um, it was on a wedding day it took place on a, the day of a wedding uh, I can't remember who was some relatives of Jackie's we also got to see a little uh, Mickey Smith in this who wasn't played by Noel Clark because it's 1987 in this episode um, 
yeah, I just found the middle act a bit boring when they were in the church and that. I mean, this clearly, though, is a filler episode. You know, it's a filler episode for series one. Um, and that, I don't know why it's called Father's Day. I mean, yeah, because it's about Rose and her dad. Why is it called Father's Day? It doesn't even take place on Father's Day. The episode is set in, like, November 1987, around when Rose's father died. And, yeah, I just didn't get why it was called Father's Day. Maybe it's a day for Rose's father or something. I don't know, but, yeah, um... That's uh, one thing. The naming of the episode could have been a little bit better. Um, but yeah, this episode, it was alright. It wasn't brilliant, but it was okay. Um, and that. I mean, not every episode can be brilliant in a series, and this was one of them. So, I know I've seen quite a lot of negatives about this episode, but I'm just giving my honest opinion and reviewing this and recommending it to you if it is recommendable so you don't have to uh, but a lot of you know people who have watched Doctor Who from the revived era in my generation will know this episode um, also this episode was a bit sad and heartbreaking you know because it's like Rose she wanted to save her father but she couldn't um, it was sad in parts um, and that but Again, she's saving her father from dying, so it's going to have to be a bit sad there. Um, yeah, this was okay, but not, like I said, not a brilliant episode. So, yeah, I'm going to just get onto my final thoughts and ratings now. So, um, Doctor Who Father's Day, do I recommend it? Uh, I'd say watch it at your own risk. It's not my favourite episode. It's not the best one in Series 1, but, like I say, every you know, episode isn't brilliant in the whole series and that um yeah this is just the filler episode so yeah i'm going to give doctor who father's day i'll give this a three out of five three out of five for father's day so that has been my who review on doctor who father's day um have you seen this episode let me know down in the comments below if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are linked down below in the description. So until next time, run for your life.